In this video, we'll be taking a look at Real Phones from DSonic. Real Phones is a state-of-the-art software solution that expands the possibilities of using headphones for professional mixing and mastering. Using intelligent controls, numerous real-world mixing environments have been painstakingly remodeled to create headphone monitoring experiences suitable for day-to-day -day production duties. Real Phones works both as a standalone plugin and within your door. Essentially, it's been designed to help with producing, mixing and mastering in headphones. However, you can also employ the plugin to simply enhance your listening experience with headphones. When working with Real Phones in your door, insert one instance of the plugin on the master or monitoring bus chain after all other plugins and signal analyzers. There's essentially two ways to approach working with Real Phones. Quick setup and advanced setup. Quick setup allows you to quickly get started with the plugin. Initially, you begin by selecting a correction curve that matches your headphones. I was able to add the profile for my Sennheiser HD25 headphones from the DSonic customer website, where you'll be able to find an extensive list of all supported headphones. From here, we can call up one of the presets depending on the task at hand. These include mixing duties, mix checking, real control rooms and frequency response options. And within each category there are a number of different choices, ranging from different strengths of correction for the mixing and enjoying music options, to recreating mixing environments, such as referencing your mix on earbuds, or choosing a near field or far field control room. As you load each preset, you can see the parameters change accordingly to mimic the desired space or environment created within your headphones. Let's take a listen now into how some of the presets alter the audio. Of course, make sure you're listening in headphones here. And bear in mind, I have the Sennheiser HD25 profile loaded. So if you're listening with different headphones, it could yield a slightly different frequency response. Something I noticed instantly with the mixing presets is the increased depth and low frequency in my headphones. I can definitely hear the sub and decay on the kick drums much clearer now. Something else I noticed with many of the presets is the difference in stereo information. Again, something I find difficult to balance in headphones. A general softening of the higher frequencies seems present too, arguably presenting a more realistic response for the top end. With most of the mixes, the mid seems the area least affected, unless you dial up one of the more extreme options, such as the lo-fi set. So with the advanced setup, you're encouraged to use one of the presets simply as a jumping off point. And from there, diving into all of these controls to customize the sound of real phones in order to find the settings that will provide the best mixing or producing experience. The correction slider controls the degree of the frequency response correction applied to your headphones, whilst the presence and pressure controls apply subtle changes to the frequency response curve. Within the binaural room simulation, you can choose different listening environments, along with different speaker sets and adjust the ambience, which provides control over the recreated acoustic of the room. Furthermore, there are controls for adjusting the stereo field, tone shaping parameters and a selection of classic monitors and speakers to further tweak the listening experience. All of these sections can also be turned on or off, so if you feel anything is changing the audio too much, you can simply mute that section. I found with some of these controls, it was safer to keep fairly close to the preset settings. Extreme settings would often color or alter the audio too much, it's possible this is very taste dependent too. I can imagine once you've created a few mixes on real phones, you might be returning to some of these controls and tweaking them further to your tastes. But with so many parameters to tweak and customize here, you can really personalize this plugin. Once you've found settings that work for you, you can of course save the presets to the user area for recall. In addition to the presets provided, real phones also offers a set of snapshots, which you'll find on the left hand side of the plugin. By default, these have been organized into three categories, mix, produce, and relax. 
These have been designed to allow you to quickly switch between different sets of controls, also offering the option to rename snapshots or lock certain parameters between snapshots. Real Phones has been designed for producers on the move or indeed who are working solely on headphones. However, I've found this plugin is also an excellent mix referencing tool. Being able to create so many real world mixing environments within your headphones, so for producers who are working in different studios, this could also be a fail safe option for mix checking. The headphones profile along with the quick start presets allow you to instantly call up usable settings. However, once you've created a few mixes on real phones, you'll no doubt be tweaking the extensive set of fine tuning parameters provided and creating your own set of customized presets to work with. Be sure to check out Real Phones by DSonic that is available now from ADSRSounds.com.